The Lord be with you. Kathy and Scott, the church shares their joy and warmly welcomes you, together with your family and friends, as today in the presence of God, our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this, your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now give glory to God our Heavenly Father. the 
reading from the Gospel of the One of the Pharisees, a scholar of the law, tested Jesus by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Who is 
is that love of my life, of your life? Who is that confidant, that partner, that best friend who sees every piece of who we are? And then for us to trust and love that person so much that we can hand that fragile heart, broken heart, over to the other person. That's where God comes in. Because only in that moment, to the sacred presence of God Himself, make it all good. It is the love and the trust that comes not from human will, not from human experience, not from human skill, but because God loved us first. And because He loved us first, we know what love is and can be. And it's only then that Kathy can give that present to Scott, and Scott can give that present to Kathy. And then to have the privilege to walk each day together in that trust and that love is the greatest gift that they can give to each other. So the present is the best part of this way. That present is a second. Because it's just not Scott and Kathy in the marriage. It is Jesus Christ himself. Joins them. The analogy of a three roped grave being stronger than a two roped grave is perfect. Because with Scott and with Kathy and with the person of Jesus Christ, their lives become intertwined and become stronger than three apart or two apart or together. It is three braided together, intertwined for life. Because Jesus Christ is a part of their life and strengthens them. It gives them the courage to face those broken moments each day because of the trust and the love that He shows us, that He showed us on the cross. That's why He did it, to save us. He told us that we can become whole to the other. He did. And it saves us. We can, and it will save you. That's what sacrament is. And Christ Himself is a part of it. In fact, today, I'm not doing the sacrament. I'm just here to witness. The church specifically states that it is the husband who administers the sacrament to his wife and the wife who administers this sacrament to her husband. The priest just gets to watch and make sure it works out okay. <laughs> they are the ministers. Which means, Scott, you are now responsible for Kathy's salvation. Getting her to heaven. And Kathy, you are now responsible for Scott and getting him to heaven. Who has the heavier lift here? <laughs> but it's true. Especially for you married couples. You're responsible. That's what marriage is about. When you give your whole self to the other person, you're giving that self that is giving them to that ultimate goal of giving to heaven. That's where we're all hopefully going. Right? So, sacrament that you all are administering to each other is important. But though they are ministering that sacrament, it is not private. There is no sacrament of the church that is private. Baptism, not communion, confirmation, not marriage. 
it is public. Not even confession. Because even though the sin is private, the reconciliation has an effect on the whole world. It is not private. Marriage is not private. It's just not Kathy and Scott and Jesus. Altogether, nobody sees it. They're together with Jesus and everybody who sees. We, in this congregation, are not spectators. We are participants. And by our presence, pledge our love and commitment to them as they begin this journey together in sacrament. We are here not just for the party, although that will be fun. We are not here just for the party, but to make our commitment to them and walk with them and help them. And this sacrament is meant to be a witness to the world that love can happen. That one can give one's life to the other. It is for you and for me to see. Because they have the courage to, today to stand up and say, love works. For each of us in this congregation, who are broken, jaded, hurt, betrayed, because we love. And we got hurt. And perhaps there might be someone in this congregation today who says, no one loves me. And worse, there might be someone in this congregation who says, I am not lovable. The witness of these two standing before you contra contradicts them. You are loved and you are lovable. They don't come up with that on their own. They come up with it because God loved them first. Now they love each other with God's love that they have and share that love with each of you and me. So if today, you face despair in any way, let it be cast aside with the confidence that in this place today, you are assured of love from love himself, Christ Jesus. This is our church. This is what we believe. This is what we know. Even in the days where we don't feel Kathy and Scott, you've had those days. And you have gone through those days. Your family and friends have witnessed to you God's love. And you have found how that love has brought you together. We pray for you. We stand with you. And we love you. And we are here today to show that support. And to walk with you. And to say thank you for giving us hope again. Dearly beloved, you have come together into the house of the church, so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with the sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those those he has already consecrated by the baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of their life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions.
Kathy and Scott, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other as, for as long as you both shall live? Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Scott, I'm going to ask you to repeat it after me. I Scott. Take you, Kathy, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. I can take you, Scott, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in bad, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. May the Lord bless these rings, which you will give to each other as a sign of love and God. <laughs> Kathy, receive this ring. Let us all stand and offer our prayers to faith, Kathy, and for Scott.
Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of the feeling of the sacred bond of marriage, and just as your good, just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the 
fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Larry our Bishop and other clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Kathy and Scott, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, and we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the glorious martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to each other's life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
for the reception of the community. Please come forward to the center aisle and two lines. You are practicing captain and would like to receive. Please come forward if, if uh, you are not prepared to receive and you'd like to come forward for a blessing, please do so and cross your arms and we will give you a blessing.
not Valentine's, but you make it feel like most of the time. When I'm all alone with you, picking up pieces of my life, sometimes there's ones I just can't find, but they found a home with you. Whoa, I'm not afraid to be alone, but being alone is better with you. It always has and always will be an honor and an absolute joy to be alive. To quote Debbie Boone, you light up my life. You grew up to be an intelligent, accomplished, and beautiful woman who is also kind, generous, and loving, and my best friend. It turns out that she's also very good at picking out a husband. I couldn't wish for a better man for Kathy than Scott. I love you both. May the two of you have a long, happy, and healthy life together. I'm, I'm a little nervous. I just want you to know that. But it's an honor to have Scott as my son-in-law, and I've already given him some clues. Father Paul might not have got him, but I'm going to get him. When you're in a conversation with a friend Zeta, you have to understand. Yes. That's it. You're going to get sweaty. You're going to feel like you're doing something wrong. And then you probably are. Now down the road, he and I got the same path a little bit. He went to college. I went to the north side of Pittsburgh. But, I was put on waivers with my wife for 10 years. Now, if you ask her, it'll be 9 years. And you know what? The same thing happened to my son. He was there, put on waivers, and then all of a sudden, he realized that trans and women love their men. Okay? To the both of you, put that in front of us. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Father Paul blessed the rings today and had more holy water on my hand than the ring. <laughs> and that's what he said he needed. It. So listen, both of you, thank you for coming into our family. We love you and have a great life. Larry, Larry, I don't think I've had a better introduction than that ever. Thank you very much. And uh, I put extra holy water on your hand because I thought you needed it. But, but I also thought it would sizzle a little when it went there. It didn't. So it did. It did. That's right. That's right. So uh, we're all here today to celebrate uh, Kathy and Scott and their life together. Um, the love that they share, they share with us too. So this is a great celebration. And we all began with God, and so we're going to offer a prayer of blessing now for them, and ask God's blessing on the food uh, we have here tonight. It's an abundance of food. Thank you, Kathy and Scott, for your generosity and good choices in Pittsburgh food. And, and, and just in case uh, you're a little scrupulous and worried about whether you were going to choke on unblessed food because you ate already, God's blessing is so wonderful, it's retroactive, right? <laughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord God, we ask your blessing tonight on Kathy and Scott and their life together and the life they share with each of us. We know that you are with them and with us. Your love shines through. Bless this food we're about to receive. Let it nourish us for your service. Bless our travel. Keep us safe. Keep us always in your care. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Bon appetit. So I want to uh, thank you all for coming. My mantra this week has been just complete the list. Follow the list. Because we had lots and lots of things to do. And my job was basically to follow the list. And you guys are taking your having a wonderful time tonight. I did a teensy little bit of lifting for this, but certainly Kathy did a, a lot of the lifting. 
But she had one thing on my list, and that was the one thing that she wanted for her wedding gift was for me to sing. So, some of you maybe have stood in front of me in a concert and have heard me sing before. So I am not a singer, I just like to sing. Some of you maybe have gotten a happy birthday from me. On, yes, many, many of you. So, Kathy? Happy wedding. Happy wedding.
Thoughts do swim around you in my head For all the words that we ever said My favorites remain I love you
entering to this way, you in? Go Browns. Go Pack, go! Go that way with it. Do it? I am. No, no, you know what's up. What's up? Here. Oh my god.
you, not you, not you. Love you guys, congratulations. Congratulations, Kathy and Scott. Hello! I'll do that. I'll have what she's having. It feels so good. She said, I'll do that. I don't like it. I'll have what she's having. How about there? This will make it better. That will make it better. Camera. Where's, hey, where's Pete Thomas? I got it in the car. Now, if, that, if that was Jack, if that was Jack Honey, yes, then we could drink the whole thing. Uh, all right, uh, well, I got to make a toast to Kathy and Scott. All right, congrats, Kathy and Scott. Congrats. <laughs> Is this thing on? Okay, yes. Okay, here's how much, because you know how I feel about Fireball. This is how much I love you. <laughs> Come here. Talk into the camera. Talk into the camera. Camera. 
talking to the camera. Okay. Morning. I figured I'd just follow Larry. You getting all that? <laughs> baby, baby, let me sleep on it. I give you let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. <laughs> we're, we're plotting back. Larry's plotting back here. <laughs> He's sneaking <laughs> off. Come on. Larry. Come on. Oh, we're running. We're running. We're running. Not for long. Nope. But we're running. Yeah, you have to wait. Why don't you stop this traffic for us? No, Larry. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we have a walk sign now. <laughs> Good job showing up this morning, you guys. <laughs> Kenny, and Thanks Kenny's here. It's a marathon. It's a marathon. Not a sprint. sprint. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hi there. Hi. Oh, you made it. Hi, everybody. Okay, good. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Freddie. Freddie, you're super excited because yeah. 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 Super excited because the walk is over. <laughs> yeah. Want to look down upon me, Jesus. You gotta help me make a stand any other way. I see fire out. Oh no. Oh, still. From the tickle of your tongue. Well.
congratulations to both of you on your nuptials. you're having on Facebook, it doesn't go unnoticed, so keep that up. I, I lived through that, that sort of partying and going to see bands and everything. That's, that's absolutely wonderful. So enjoy life that way. Getting out of the house. Not staying. We got one more for you, and uh, as Kathy mentioned, we do have to get out of here quickly uh, afterwards, so we're not blowing you off. We just have to We've got to get the cars and, and do our thing. So thank you very much for having us here tonight. Enjoy the rest of you.
for the money you raise here today, 72% goes back. I'm the only paid employee. So everybody knows that. Everybody else is a volunteer. Uh, that's how I wanted to set it up. Uh, a lot of the board members give me hassle hire, hiring other people. I mean, we don't need to hire anybody. I'll, I'll do the work and I'll get all the veterans that will work with us. It's one big team, one big unit. Things have changed on me. If you will, then I'll 
Christmas time. We can't build our dreams. Auspicious
Steelers back in the gold. Here we go. This town of Pittsburgh's heart and soul. Here we go. The Steeler Nation has the best fans. We are from Pittsburgh, the six-time Super Bowl.